Hide this project is a demonstration of census. Census system helps to record information about the members of a given population. System will regularly count particular population. This system gives connection between national population and housing census. Other common census include agriculture, business and traffic census. So let's see how the system works. There are three models. One, in, one is admin, employee and user. So let's see the admin login. Admin will use the ID and the password in order to log into the system. So the first model is the add employee. Over here the employee login ID is generated by the system. Here the admin must enter the employee details, employee name, email ID, mobile number and the state and the city where the employee resides. So let's enter the name. And the ID. And the employee mobile number. And the state in the city where the particular employee resides. Once the admin clicks onto the submit button, these details will be stored into the database. So let's see the next model. These are the reports of uh, of the population. So let's click to the birth rate over here. This birth rate will be shown uh, in the form of a graph. So these are the bars and uh, the X axis shows the states and the Y axis shows the scale. And uh, these are the representation of the numbers like uh, the state numbers. So let's see the next model that is education rate. Over here the education rate will be shown in graph particular state that is 20 or uh, 20 is uh, um, Maharashtra over here the blue bar shows the literate and the yellow bar shows the illiterate so this this much are literate people and this much are uh, illiterate people in different states so let's see the next report that is the employee report over here The yellow remarks uh, worked more than 6 hours and the orange one re remarks worked less than 6 hours and the blue one shows non-worker. These are the different states have different reports. Let's see the next model that is marital status. Over here the yellow mark shows never married, orange currently married and the blue one shows widowed and the grey one shows divorced and uh, it shows report for different states marital status at different states let's see the next model that is the age rate over here the children represents the yellow one shows the children and blue one senior citizen and the orange one is at adult and uh, at different states there are different uh, reports for age rate Let's see the next model that is the death rate. Same uh, in death rate uh, on different states the yellow represents children, orange adult and the blue one shows the senior citizens and at different states are di there are different reports. So this, this is how the admin can view the report. Let's see the next model that is view user. Over here the admin can view various users and under each user there can be if the admin clicks onto the is each user, so the, it, it will show a number of uh, members on particular use, user. So over here, these are the members who are under this uh, user. You can view that. So let's see the next model that is view feedback. Over here, uh, the admin can view the feedback of the users as well as he can delete each feedback by clicking on to the delete button let's, this is how the admin module works let's see the next model that is user login he can register himself by clicking on to the sign up button over here you can uh, fill up the details and this is the user id you have to mention as a uh, personal details and you have to select the state and city and once he clicks on to the submit button uh, 
he will get the ID and the password which will be sent to his email ID. So let's log into the system as a user. So once the user logins to the system, these are the models he can access. So one is add member. So let's enter the member details. The serial number will be generated by the system. And let's enter the name of the person. Relationship. The particular member belongs to the head, belongs to the user. And gender, date of birth, age, and the religion. If there is disab disability or not, and mother tongue. other languages known if he is literate he should select the highest qualification apparently I don't have any certificate so I'm leaving this blank and whether he had worked or not if I'm clicking on non worker country name, state, district, if he has any other card documents he should uh, enter here. You must click on to the submit button. You must upload upload the other card. <coughs> so click on to the submit button. So de these details have been added into the system. Let's see the next model that is update member data. Over here, the user can update any of his personal member details. So if he had he had to select particular member and his details will be shown over here if he can update any of these which if wants to here I will mention the occupation name class of worker once you're done with updation you have to click on to the submit button so these details will be updated into the database let's see the next model that is death information over here the user have to mention any of the death any of if any of the member died and you have to mention the name age at which state he had died and once he clicks on to the submit button these details will be stored in the database and it will be used for generating report let's see the next model that is add feedback over here he must mention the feedback if uh, there is any issue related to the system or uh, in any of the form and once he clicks on to the submit button these details will be viewed by the admin Let's see the next module that is view status. Here he can uh, the member can view the various status of the members. So this member document have been approved by the employee. If it is not approved, uh, 
the system will show over here that uh, the particular members documents are not approved and what are the reasons and uh, where you should make the changes so here the other card is not uploaded properly so what you have to do is you, you must click on to the change button and uh, you, you can view the whole document and you must whatever the error is you should rectify it and once you click on to the submit button these details will be updated into the database so this is how the user module works over here the employee must use the email id and the password which will be sent to respective uh, employee and uh, employee can view the user details of particular uh, district and the state he belongs to so let's enter the id and the password so over here you can view the users of a particular state he resides and you have to click on to the select link button so you can view various members and once you click on to the particular member you can view the details of that member so you can approve or disapprove the documents based on the documents submitted by the user so if i click on to the approve button these details will be updated in the database if he clicks on to the disapprove over here he must mention the reason for disapproval and once he clicks on to the submit button these details will be updated in the database and will be shown to the user and according to that uh, the user can rectify the changes he can make the changes so is enter reason for this disapproval and once he clicks on to the submit button this data will be updated and it will be viewed by the user Let's see the next module that is view request. Over here, a uh, user must select to the particular user, and once he clicks on to any of the user, he can uh, any of the member he can view the members details. This is how the employee model works. This is how the census system works. Thank you.